my main concentration was getting us all back to land in one piece. Sir William Arnold, she was very special, but she was one of a kind because she was triple diagonal. She was built in wood and she was very sea kindly. She would sit on the sea, she wouldn't roll around unless you had power on and come off a big wave, but she was a tremendous boat. 40 years on from our trip out in the English Channel, she is still afloat today and has been restored and is in St Catherine's Dock as an educational platform uh, in London. I knew what the boat could do. I was used to handling high-speed twin-screw boats, but she was very special and you knew that she was the right tool for the job. Well, that morning um, was quite horrendous. St Peterport Harbour was closed. We got a call about one o'clock, roughly, lunchtime, uh, to go and move. The, we hadn't had our lunch yet, by the way, um, to move the lifeboat because a, I think it was a military vessel had broken its moorings in St Peterport Harbour and was in danger of drifting down on the lifeboat and damaging it. St Peter Port had received a May Day off we set. I was on the flying bridge shortly after leaving St Peter Port we broached and that was the first of many broachings. On the radar you could just see walls of water. The first view of the ship and it was dusk, it's snowing, the seas were 15 metres high. It's not until you see the daunting sight of a ship laying on its side, knowing the amount of people that have to be rescued and the precarious position they were in, then you have a thought, well, how am I going to get these off safely or as best you can? My main concentration was the safety of the crew, that I didn't do damage to the lifeboat or to them. Now, I have a great respect not only for Peter being on the bow, but also for those crew members on board Bonita who decided, well, we're going to jump because personally, I wouldn't have liked to. <laughs> so I wasn't thinking about my state of mind. I was thinking about the state of mind of the people that we had to persuade to jump. Halfway through, we had 16 people on board. Uh, we had obviously a, a serious injury and the crew were exhausted. I was exhausted because it is concentration. But eventually the master was rescued of the Benita. And then I went, oh, thank you, God. That's it. We had the Brixham crew were there to meet us, but I wouldn't let anybody off the lifeboat um, into the cold until uh, paramedics, ambulance crew, took them in their charge. We were there at the same time as the widows of Penn Lee that they're receiving their husbands or the, the sons' medals. We took our ties, tied them in a big knot and presented them to the widows as a knot of friendship between the two lifeboat stations. The only way I can reflect of it is the lines on my face. I look at some of these photos now, a lot of my crew members have since passed on and time, 40 years, I just have to think, where did that go? I look at what the RNLI is doing now in their construction, their training, the college, and um, it's a new generation, but it's still get out there and save lives. Full all-weather lifeboats. The harbour is never 
closed.